Hi, I'm back again. Uh, excuse a bit of the darkness over here tonight, but it's uh, very hot here in Phnom Penh, and uh, I've got the fans and everything else running, and uh, just trying to keep the place a little bit cooler. But anyhow, uh, that's not what we are here about to talk about. I want to explain to you about my Bollinger Band EA. <coughs> What it tries to do is to catch the swings back into the Bollinger Band. Let's look at this over here, for instance. Here we come down, we start getting closes outside. Here we've got a close outside, a close inside. So in the opening of this candle, it would have bought, right? But unfortunately, the market turned and went against you. Now it came down, 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 all the way down. And over here, outside again, outside again, back in on the opening of this candle, we bought once again. Now, depending on your stop loss and your take profit, yeah, I can just see automatically. Let me just see here. What is the opening price over here? The opening price is uh, 67.08. And the low of this candle, that was 67, uh, 67.40, right? No, that's 40. So that's about 27 pips that it had over there. And then it went all the way up over here. Uh, your chance of that you reached your profit over here was very, very good. So there at least you had another winning trade once again. Now if we go and have a look through the charts, you can page through them. Here's another entry over here again. Right, close outside, close inside, but it opened up over here. Uh, normally when that happens, uh, I have put a, a safety measure in that it shouldn't trade if you have such a big gap uh, in the opening price from the from the close to the opening there. Uh, we have worked out something that you it shouldn't take the trade over there. Let's go a little bit further. Yeah, we have another one. Close outside, close outside, close inside. On the opening of that, we bought. Once again, same year. This candle didn't take you out because it's still not below your 40 pips target. And there it went up. You hit your target. Yeah, we've got again uh, another close in, uh, outside, a close inside. And we didn't get target and it came and stopped us out. Same year, where it all went up again. Close outside, close inside. Again, another failed entry. Right, as it came up, it has took, most probably took you out of the trade. Here again, same thing. Close outside, close inside, right? Now, you can go and work this out. How many trades you lose and how many trades you win. Now, what I do is, uh, your first trade, you're going for 120 pips. So should you lose that trade, uh, let me just try and type some type some stuff in over here. Let's move that over there. Uh, let's just go and put some text onto the chart here. So the very first, oopsie, where am I going to now? Okay. Uh, now let's rather just delete that. I think let's rather, uh, uh, I'll rather pause the video and I'll rather make a, uh, a sheet a spreadsheet. I'll be back in a moment. Right, I've got my spreadsheet open over here, and let's just have a look at something real. Right, let's just put over here the potential, oopsie, the potential profits, right? The potential profits is, let's go and say, 120 over here. Trade one, we lost it, so it is minus 40. That'll leave us here with, let's just say, equals me with that there, minus that there. So, oops. What happened over here? Oh, minus 40, right? Uh, some must actually say plus. Oh, what's going on with me here? Huh? I'm losing my touch. Uh, plus. Right, so we're down to 80 pips profit. Trade two was another m minus 40, right? And again, we're going to say, uh, let's just go and say, copy that and control V. Right, now we are down to 40 pips profit. Now, at this point of time, because should you do another one, right, should you do another one, let's go and say trade three, and you lose it, you're going to have another minus 40, right, and let's just go and put that in, oops, right, uh, what the hell, right, what's going on here, oh, Delete, I'm sure. 
Oh no. Wish. Tonight I'm just not thinking. Copy it and paste it down there. Right. So should we have done a third trade and you hit a stop once again, you are back to zero. But what we're going to do now, I must actually just put an extra column in here. Uh, insert a column. Right. Okay. We have been trading, let's say one lot, one lot, uh, one lot. Now, what I normally do is I will increase here to two lots. And let's say I've hit another stop loss over here. So this one becomes now two, uh, two times that there, right? Is that correct? Two times that there. Oish. Equals two times that there. Let's go and put that into brackets. My mess ain't that good anymore. Getting rusted up. Plus, of course, whatever you have over there. Right? So, because we lost on the third trade, we are down to minus 40. Now, let's say by trade four, we are going to hit our take profit. And again, we are still on two lots. So, let's just go and say, we're going to see if this should work. Copy and control V. Escape. Righto. Because you had hit a target of 120 times two gives you 240. Plus you lost, you were minus 40 pips, so you're 200 pips up in the green again. Now this whole cycle will start all over once again, right? Because I've hit a target, so now I'll go to, let's say, try trade 5. It's going to be, let's say, minus 40, and again, one lot. So this is going to give me, equals me with that there, plus my minus 40. And I'm down to 160. So... This circle here will keep repeating it. Every time I get down to, to a 40 pip target or minus 40, I increase the lots. That should you hit your target, is going to put you back into the profit. Uh, I've got a lots calculator, which I calculate this on. Let's just go and have a look. I think I've got it open over here. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, is it over here? Yes, here it is. Here it is, right? So here's the one I've worked out for the 120 pips. Now, all these, the take profit, stop loss, the lots, the uh, total loss, the total profit, all these is worked out in pips, not in monetary value, not in dollars. The margin, however, is worked out in dollars it's to give you an idea how much money will be going into margin when you are trading these kind of lots over here. I must put the emphasis that this is on InstaForex. Uh, another broker, you'll have to work out your own to see uh, what your margins are going to be because you cannot increase your trades if you don't have enough money for margin and if you run into a pro margin problem uh, you're going to have a problem you can't trade any again uh, trade or if you get a margin call because uh, you don't have enough money in the account you're going to lose your margin uh, that's the only problem when you get a margin call uh, you're going to lose your margin over here uh, which is not a very nice thing. That is why it's better to make sure you have enough funds in your account to be able to do the trade. Uh, here you can see, as I said, you know, I'm working on 120 per profit. One lot, one lot the whole time, right? Trade three, same thing over here. Okay, because I put that uh, extra column in here just now, right? Uh, here you can see the same thing over here. Once again, trade three, still one lot. Then I have to increase it two lots. Two lots, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one are stuck by one all the way. Because when I start getting over here and you start increasing to get a profit still, uh, it's not really worth it. You just want to get out of the trade as soon as possible with the minimum amount of loss. That is the main thing. you just doing damage control. Once you start reaching this stage over here, you are going to be concentrating on damage control instead of trying to make a profit. Your big profits are lying down here because that's where most of your trades are taking places over here. You'll see four or five up to about six consecutive losses will be more or less the uh, the, the in thing on a 120 pip uh, target. 
On 160 pip target though, the picture changes though. On 160 pips, uh, you will run my easily up into 10 trades, uh, 10 losing consecutive trades easily because 160 pips is quite a lot of pips to make on a trade on an hourly chart. Should you go to a four hour chart, you'll have to increase your stop loss because then the stop loss is a little bit too small for a, uh, for a four hour chart. And even on the four hour chart, you can maybe double, double your take profit again, but you'll have far less entries uh, than what you'll be having uh, if you are, let's say, going down to the 120 pip uh, uh, take profit. I have done a lot of tests over here, and these are, to me, uh, gives me the most effective trading, where I have the minimum loss on my account, and I can trade this here on maybe, let's say, a $500 account, I can trade this over here, and it'll be quite safe. Although the risk, the risk on a $500 account will be quite high, uh, but you can do it. I would do it I mean, actually, actually, I've got it running on a $500 account now, on a live $500 account. But I would prefer to have it on a $1,000. I've got some money standby. Should I see the trade start going into five or six losing consecutive losers, losses, I will put money in immediately to back it up a bit. Uh, I would prefer, should somebody run this, that you'd rather do it on a $1,000 account, just to make sure you've got enough money to go through the drawdown period. Because once you reach the 112, you're going to stop adding trades and you're just going to let it run. Whichever comes good. I mean, if you hit the stop loss or if you take top, take profit, whichever, you'll be losing a little bit of money. But at least you will not be wiping your whole account out. That's the main thing that I've been looking at over here. Because on a normal uh, Martingale trading system, because uh, anywhere where you are increasing trades is normally a martingale trading system this is not completely a martingale i'll rather call this maybe a recovery type type thing but also i'm looking at trying to protect your capital i don't want uh, the trades to get to such a position where should you hit your the stop loss finally uh, you wipe out your whole account uh, that is just not that's just not in really it isn't and looking at this here should you hit your stop the 450 margin you get back because that was a deposit you get that 450 dollars back so your total loss is going to be that there in pips times your monetary value the lots you've been traded and your pip value for the lots so that's, that is going to be your maximum loss that you will suffer uh, honestly i've put a lot of thought into it i've made many many spreadsheets different type take profits different stop losses uh, oh boy, I can tell you one thing. I really, uh, I have really, really tried a lot of different ways. And to me, this has been the optimal way that I would like to trade it. And I want to make sure I'm trading it that way. And I must really say, uh, this is October 2019. And uh, today is the uh, 14th. And both the two accounts where I'm using this EAs, uh, the recovery EA and the Bollinger Band EA, is up 17 percent for the month so far uh, i will be connecting it all up onto my fx book at a later stage and then you can follow it over there uh, really i'm quite surprised that this it's, it's not a, really not bad i'm i'm bargaining oops i'm bargaining on maybe a three percent growth per month i'm happy with three three to five percent is excellent for me because once the accounts start reaching a point where you can uh, start compounding uh, that's when you'll see a very big difference on a thousand dollar account, it's going to be hard to try compounding. I mean, I don't, I think, I don't even think you can compound, compound at that stage. It's just your account is just too small. Uh, I think once you can get to it, let's say from a thousand dollar to two thousand dollar, then you can compound on when you reach two thousand dollars. Then when you reach three thousand dollars again, you can compound once again. And the bigger the account gets, the sooner you will be able to uh, start compounding, and the faster you'll be reaching your thousand dollar mark every time where you can start compounding on. Uh, that's the whole idea of it and uh, this is definitely not going to make you a million bucks uh, maybe over time uh, and you don't withdraw any funds from your uh, trading and you just keep compounding yeah I suppose it's possible but uh, no promises on that I mean, uh, to me this is just a way of earning a living uh, maybe a decent living if you can get it so far uh, and you can have a I must have put it, financial ease of mind uh, you can go and live wherever you want to live. You can do your trades. You can set your trades up as long as you've got a server, uh, a VPS, 
where you're setting up your uh, charts and your EA well, how much more do you want I mean, you check in two three times a day maybe just to make sure the EA is running and the uh, VPS hasn't gone down maybe uh, yeah and that's it I mean that's all you have to do you can even just do it one one time a day and you will still land up making some profits on your account uh, with that said that's the Bollinger Band system and uh, I'll be making the other uh, videos on the other systems uh, in the very near future uh, and also I'll be placing all these EAs on the MetaTrader 4 store where you can maybe go and have a look and uh, rent them should you be interested and if you're interested in it I can always help you to make a calculator like this or maybe send you mine that I'm using uh, right with that said happy trading see you again